Howdy folks, Larry Leroy Lawrence Lash coming to you from the farm. Hey, we're gonna have a little fun today. I'm gonna open up a beehive. If you've been watching some of my videos, you know that I was, uh, I put me out some swarm traps to catch me some bees. And well, be quite honest, that just didn't work. I didn't catch any, but I wanted to, wanted to get into the beekeeping deal anyway. So I just broke down and bought some bees and I put them out here, I guess about, oh, maybe two weeks ago. I bought a uh, about five frames worth of bees with a, uh, a, a, a queen is already made a mating queen and and uh, <clears throat> a few days after I put them out here I went ahead and put a medium super on on top of that with some frames in it for, for honey uh, but I got to talking to different different folks around and trying to figure just how I want to do things because uh, I'll just throw it out there I'm not a seasoned beekeeper I'm learning as I go and I'm just gonna share what I'm doing with with you folks so you know maybe I can help maybe maybe not maybe I'm doing things wrong if I am hey by all means throw some comments down there but what I found is if you talk to 15 beekeepers you'll get 15 answers on how to do things everybody seems to do a little different but uh, what I've decided to do and I saw this when I was teenager helping folks out with some bees that you know I did that when I was a kid uh, <clears throat> Two deep supers is used for brood, and then uh, a queen excluder, and then put some mediums above that so you have honey above that queen excluder. Now, I know some people like to use them, some people don't. Uh, like I say, you talk to different people, you'll get different answers. But anyway, uh, right now it's sitting here with a, with a deep box and then a medium on top of it. I think I'm going to take that medium off, and I'm going to put another deep so we have two boxes for brood. Then we're gonna put a queen excluder and then we'll have a medium on top of that. But uh, I'm gonna go get some stuff on right now and uh, we'll be back with you in just a second and we'll get over to that hive and we'll do that. So stay with me now. All right, we got our smoker. I already had it lit and had it going. So I'm gonna undo the strap here. I don't know that the strap is necessary, but I've seen other beekeepers keep straps on there. It's just to, you know, keep things from coming apart I guess uh, now I bought my stuff from a particular individual I'll throw their name and number on there they got some really neat stuff uh, I got you can see kind of a gable end on this thing with a vent in it and in just a second I'll show you why but it's, uh, it's really neat the way this guy builds his stuff all right I'm gonna show you here what we got and then I'll set the set this back up if you can see right there I've got a double pane glass top and then it's got room there for a feeder, which I've been feeding these bees because I want them to, uh, I want them to grow kind of quick. So, anyhow, just wanted you to see that. I'm gonna set you back up here as best I can. There we go. You should be able to see. So what I'm gonna do is take this off of here, and they might get a little stirred up once I start opening up. Like I say, so far they've been uh, real easy going bees. I see I got some ants in here. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. But anyway, there we go. Pop that up. All right, looks like they're getting to the food nice and good. Now, with the glass top like this guy does, uh, a couple of things. You can open it up. You can open it up and look inside without really disturbing your bees. Uh, and at the same time, you can take a wax marker or what have you and write on that glass what you did and what day and kind of keep up with what you're doing with your bees. All right, it looks good. It looks like the bees are all still down in the bottom box, which is great. Uh, I don't I don't think I'm gonna have to go through the trouble of looking too hard for the queen I want to make sure she's in that bottom box uh, but it looks to me like all the bees are still in the bottom box which is great I can just go ahead and ha add this other deep super on there then put my queen excluder without having to worry about is my queen in this medium super I don't see any bees at all working in this medium super yet which, so that's good so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to get this off of here. And then I'm going to go get the other, the deep, to put it on. Looks like they kind of kind of sealed it a little bit. But I'm going to set it off to the side on this table.
All right, I'm gonna show you in here. It looks like, it looks like I have a lot more bees than what I started out with, which is great. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see that this hive is growing and getting stronger by the day. And I am really happy with the way these bees are at. I, had, I have not had a bee fly around me yet. And I have completely opened this hive up. All right, I'm gonna go get some stuff to put in here. I'm going with all plastic. Some people use wood with the wax. Uh, these are coated with wax, but they are plastic. And I think they're gonna work just fine. A little bit more. Now I'm really happy with the way these bees are acting. I could have done this in shorts, and tennis shoes, uh, but I don't know how they're going to act. It's a new hive for me, and I'm new to beekeeping. Uh, I know some can be pretty rough on you, and then some are pretty easy. So far, every time I have dealt with this hive. They've been very easy, not aggressive at all. I, mean, I got my smoker this time and didn't really even need it. So anyway, we've got our second super on our deep super. This is for brood. I'm going to put the queen excluder and then I'm going to put the medium back on and we'll be done. I know some people don't like to use a queen excluder and they have their reasons. Um, I'm not seasoned enough to know whether to recommend or not recommend. Um, I know a lot of people use them and I did a little of this with some family members when I was a teenager and I remember they always used them so uh, until I get better at what I'm doing I'm going to use a queen excluder to make sure I have nothing but honey up here but I got two deep supers for brood so that should be plenty. Now I'm going to put that medium super back on here and from this point forward there should be nothing in this medium super but honey. Uh, right now there's nothing in here. Um, I'll pull a couple just to make sure at least look at them. There's a handful of bees in here that were getting uh, some drink. but. Nothing's being built in here yet, so I know the queen has not even been up there. So, I didn't need to smoke them at all, but I went through the trouble of lighting my smoker. By George, I'm going to use it. Anyway. Put my glass top back up there. And it's vented like any other top would be, but it's really good because I can, I can feed them and help them to get strong. Put the gable in back on. Kill that spider. Okay, there you go. Uh, there again, I have not had the first bee uh, try to get around me, sting me, run me off, or anything. As you can see, you know, they're still out there washboarding. Looks like they're kind of cleaning on the high. So now I'm going to just straighten everything up a little bit. No need for you to watch that. Uh, but I think I'm doing right. If you got better ideas, feel free to share them with me. And for those of you that are wondering about the description, I can assure you that every bee that you saw was naked. So, naked bees. You got to love them. Thanks for watching. And until next time, Larry Leroy Lawrence last saying, see ya. Now I got to get this glove off, turn this camera off. Hang on. Now, see ya.